I am fascinated by my five-year-old body. It is doing the robot. It is going through the motions. It is doing the robot, the robot motions, the motions of a robot. My teenage body loathed robotics and stiffness. It loathed itself. When I was undergoing diagnostic testing, the neuropsychologist validated my self-loathing. I am stiff and stimmy, stiff and stimmy. You walk just like an Aspie, she remarked one day, just as I was entering her office. Later, her pen noted my odd gait, noted my body's rigidity, noted my robotic and wrenching hands. But moving autistically is how I move. It's what I know. It's what I do. I used to try otherwise. I listened to my teachers. I sat on my hands. I listened to my teachers. I attended a couple school dances. I listened to my teachers. I timed my pauses between my verbal punctuation. Three seconds in between each sentence. One, two, three. Two seconds after commas. One, two, semicolons. Fuck, I don't remember. I listened to my teachers. I self-loathed. My favorite childhood photograph is a blur of a stim. I am smiling in my own way, with my hands, with my mouth, open. I am standing, and I am autistic. Five-year-old body, there is grace. How you move is grace. Oddness and rigidity are grace. You lumber, and you lumber. You are a head attached to a body, and the body is grace. Stiff and stimmy, stiff and stimmy, stiff and stimmy is grace. When I stub my toe, I am graceful and autistic. The leg casts and the braces from toddlerhood they are graceful and autistic. The songs I know, the assholes I shatter, the rocking of my body to the sound of a fire truck or the sound of a closing door or the sound of a repetition, 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 these are all autistic, these are all rhetoric, these are all rigid, fluid, moving, grace. I am fascinated by my five-year-old body. It is loud and it doesn't give a fuck.